Sounds and Sights TV. Yeah! What up, everybody? Welcome to the Sounds and Sights show with your host, Nick Signs. Today is a very special day because I want to talk a little bit about meditation as it relates to artistry. So I was going on Reddit the other day, and one of the top posts for the week on our EDM production was like, hey, producers, do you meditate? That definitely struck my interest because as a music producer, as a songwriter, as a music person for the past five years every day um, that I've been doing music, I've started meditating. And I have to say that overall, it has definitely been a benefit. It hasn't been anything massively life-changing, um, though I think that I'm relatively already like kind of you know, self-aware and, and do some of these things. Like I journal every day. Um, I have other things that are kind of close to meditation in that they are a practice of making sure that your mental health is like doing okay. And basically just checking in with yourself and giving yourself some time to yourself, to breathe, to think, to do all the things that we need to do as artists. I wanted to talk a little bit about how meditation has specifically helped me in my creativity as an artist and kind of everything that relates to the process of making music. The first thing that I think meditation is helpful for for artists is to be at your peak creativity and artistry. I genuinely believe that you kind of need to be in a good headspace, which may sound obvious, but there's a lot of kind of from the outside in opinions that like, you know, oh, the ex so-and-so went through a breakup or, you know, was fucking miserable because their dad died. And so they're going to make some really good music now. And I feel like even the artists buy into that to some degree. Like, oh, you know, I only make the best music when I'm miserable because that's when I can really connect with my emotion. Um, and while that may be true, you know, I think periods of, you know, intense emotion or whatever, whatever triggers it. If it's a, if it's a loss, if it's, um, you know, whatever, whatever it happens to be, if it's, if it's, a, if it's a breakup, you know, whatever. Um, I think that those moments, you are naturally just a little bit closer to your, you know, to your kind of emotion and, and maybe able to connect with it in a way that you wouldn't be able to in just normal everyday life when, you know, your daily life consists of, Hey, you maybe write some songs, you go to the grocery store, you know, it might be a little bit harder to connect with your, you know, grieving, you know, fucking angry self or whatever it may be, but harder. But I think, honestly, I think that it is 100% possible to access those emotions, the memories of times where you felt that way, um, to be able to build your vocabulary on the language of that emotion that you've been feeling without actually being in it. I think that there's a huge difference between being able to connect to your emotions in that way versus only being able to access them when you're in it, when you're feeling that way because something actually happened. Um, so meditation, I think, kind of helps with that a little bit. Um, basically going back to the point where you kind of need to be in a good space to be able to do music. Let's face it. This thing called music is a long game. It takes a fucking long time to be able to build your skill set, to be able to build your audience, to be able to do all the things that you need to do to become, you know, what most people envision as a, you know, successful artist and even what you think you might be as a successful artist. Um, you know, I wouldn't define my own version of a successful artist as, hey, I wrote great music, but I feel like shit all the time. That that's I wouldn't even want that. I, don't sign me up. If, if you if you had me making two you know millions of dollars a year, just feeling like ass buns the whole time. No, like I, ah, <laughs> uh, that's a no for me, dog. Um, so I would much rather make this little mediocre something or other, but but feel fulfilled, feel feel like I'm making progress, feel happy. That's Hey, we're only on this earth for a very short time. And I promise you, you know, I've talked to plenty of people who have a fuck ton of money and, and feel like shit. And I don't envy them in the slightest. Um, anyway, so basically all that to say, I think meditation plays an important role 
and mental health. And I think for an artist to truly kind of meet their potential, it, it really requires being able to be in a good headspace for like a decent amount of the time to be able to push through, to progress, to learn. You can't, these are all open, kind of open, vulnerable positions. You're learning, you're trying new stuff, you're putting your heart out on the page. It's very difficult to, to access that level of, of vulnerable when you know, your, your inner monologue is chaos, you know, when everything around you is, is crumbling. Um, so I think meditation helps in that aspect just to set the foundation of, um, you know, stable ground for us artists to stand on. So the second reason why I think that meditation is awesome for artists is because a lot of the creative, ah, aha moments almost always (laughs) come not in the studio though they're like 15 percent of the time maybe 20 to 30 but honestly most of my ideas where i'm like oh i should really try that come when i'm folding socks when i'm washing the dishes when i'm taking out the trash when i'm taking a poop and i forgot to bring my phone so i'm not scrolling on tick on tiktok And maybe, hey, maybe the shampoo bottle's out of reach, so I can't even read the fucking ingredients. But when you're just sitting there with nothing else but you and your thoughts, uh, some real wild shit, you know, your mind is just just wandering and you can just kind of let it wander. So meditation is kind of like a more direct way of accessing that, I think. Um, Or at least that's kind of how it comes to me. I mean, you know, I'm... (laughs) I'm trying my damn hardest to not think about music during meditation. I'm really trying to connect. The meditation that I do is like connecting with your breath. So it's very like you're, you're, you know, you're really just thinking about your breath. You're feeling the the cold air coming through your nostrils and you're just focusing on that. But it's so weird, you know, in the, in the moment of trying very hard to focus on this thing, You know, you're not focusing on all the other shit that's going on. And somehow that's where my mind goes. And that's where the boop, 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 these little ideas kind of pop out like little sprouts that were maybe sitting in there in my subconscious until I finally gave it a minute to just breathe and have a peaceful space to fucking come up and sprout. So, um, that's one thing that meditation has personally done and that I think talking to other artists rings true for them as well is, you know, these kind of moments of almost boredom. I don't want to say boredom though, because that sounds like, you know, I would say these moments where our minds are at ease um, are sometimes pop up some of the best and most inspirational ideas that I've had that other artists have had. So meditation is great for that. It's the practice of putting yourself and your mind at ease if only for a few minutes throughout the day. So the third and last, but probably there are more, but the third reason that I'm going to talk about today, um, why I think that meditation is helpful for artists specifically. Um, Meditation is a practice. It's a recurring learning and conditioning and practicing of observing your mind and thoughts going elsewhere and then being like, oh, hey, I noticed that I started thinking about X, Y, Z, but I'm going to bring it back to my breath. So it's literally just a practice in observing when things are kind of going off a little bit and just calmly bringing it back. And as a producer, singer-songwriter, as someone that's sitting in front of the computer doing music things, there's a lot of times where I end up trying to do one thing and then all of a sudden I'm in this rabbit hole. And sometimes, hey, rabbit holes are fun. It's good to, to have that creative space to be able to you know, follow a thought all the way through. But you know, if that's, it has to be in a, way, a conscious choice, I believe, or it works best when it's a conscious choice. If the, the art of meditation helps in recognizing like, hey, I'm going down a little bit of a rabbit hole right now. Do I want to or do I not want to? And a lot of the times, for me personally, I don't fucking want to. 
I'm trying to record a song. I'm trying to, you know, uh, mumble some melodies. And then, and then in the middle of that, oh my God, you know, the, the kick, I need to, I need to fix it. And then, but, and then by the time I know it, what went from me trying to brainstorm some melody ideas came to me fucking, you know, putting little tiny little resonant bumps in a kick drum. Like, no. And if that was something I wanted to do, sure. But 99% of the times it's just not. And I just do it without thinking about it. And the without thinking about it is the is the problem where it becomes it's it's just a knee-jerk reaction. It's just something that you do versus having it be a choice. And as artists, we're busy, you know? I think being able to make the choice of where you want to spend your time is crucial. Um, so, and then also just creatively, because, hey, you know, what might have started off as me being inspired to write a song and get some melodies out that I had in my head now got totally derailed because now I started thinking about something totally that I didn't even give a shit about when I came in. And now here I am putting all my effort into that. So I think it's a fantastic, fantastic exercise to the art of observing when things are going off and bringing them back in. And it's natural. It's an ebb and flow. You know, you're going to go off. My th- I've never gone, I think I've gone through a meditation session perhaps twice where I was able to just follow the one single kind of thread of following my breath the entire way through. And that's expected. You know, your your thoughts, your brain is a fucking, it's a Ferrari engine. It's just, it's just going, you know, you got to, but it's just observe, bring it back, observe, bring it back. And that's it, you know? So that's kind of the last reason why I think that meditation can be super helpful for people that make music, for people, for really anybody, but specifically for artists, I think it's really something that can be a powerful tool. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. If anything, just to get you thinking about what are the things that I can do to make my life as an artist a little more fulfilling, a little more easy. Um, And meditation for me personally has been uh, a a good part of that. It's been worth the time. You know, if if I meditated twice a day, so it's down, let's say 10 minutes each, I would say it was worth the time. So I urge you to try it. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, so... As always, thank you so much for watching. If you've liked anything I've had to say here today or want to see more, definitely go to soundsandsights.com, subscribe to the channel, check it out. There's a lot more coming. Um, And until next time, rock on.